Hi class, welcome to this interesting study on the topic of ethics. I'm glad you're in the class. This is Dr. Michael Bogart, your instructor. I'm standing here on the beautiful coast of California. I don't know if you can see it behind me, it's kind of foggy, but it is the Pacific Ocean behind me. Love spending time in this place. And uh, it's a beautiful setting to even think about something like ethics or some of the bigger issues in life. So ethics is something that I believe everybody needs to be familiar with. I don't care whether you're in this class because you're interested in the subject or whether it's something that your advisor wanted you to enroll in because you need the credits. It doesn't matter, we're glad to have you in the class. Ethics is something you're gonna need, whether it's in nursing or it's in education or in some technical field or something else entirely. Even if it's not in your career, you're gonna be living with family and friends and neighbors. You're gonna be doing business. You're gonna be making difficult choices at different points in your life. And in all of those things, ethics plays a huge, even a pivotal role. Now, let me talk a little bit about how the class is structured. I think many students have the idea when they enroll in a class like this that we're gonna talk about controversial issues and we're gonna share our opinions. We may be doing some of that, but that's not the main focus of this class. I have taught classes in my earlier career that were structured like that. I had nothing to do with structuring them. It was in my early time of teaching, somebody else had structured the class and that's the way it was. We talked about abortion, we talked about you know, different um, gender lifestyles. We talked about, uh, you know, euthanasia and all of those, you know, hot topics, war, whether there's such a thing as just war. And the way the classes were structured was just that the students ended up sharing their opinions. I find it very difficult to grade a class like that because how do you grade somebody on their opinion? So that's not the way I have structured this class. This class is structured so that you learn the main ethical systems that we use all the time. That includes not only the, the traditional systems like what, what we call divine command ethics, in other words, the, the commandments uh, either from Judaism, Christianity, or some equivalent of that in Islam or some other system where you know the divine being has said it's gonna be a certain way, or whether it's utilitarianism, which is the greatest good for the greatest number of people, whether it's virtue ethics, how I feel about myself, what kind of person I want to be, whether it's Kantian ethics, whether it's uh, natural law, there's a number of systems that we use. We're even going to be looking at African tribal ethics and Native American ethics uh, as systems that can be used. I want you to learn the systems. What your opinions are, that's up to you. Um, you may want to share some of them with classmates, that's up to you but those are not gonna be the main focus. Because in a sense, who cares what your opinions are or what my opinions are? They don't matter. They're individual and they can change. What's important is that we learn how the systems can be used. Every system is designed to do a certain thing and some systems are better for certain kinds of ethical dilemmas than others are. So we're gonna learn the ins and outs of those kinds of things. I hope you're excited about our journey. I know I am. And I hope that you learn an awful lot about ethics and how to use them. I hope it will be helpful in your life practically and professionally. So let's plan to learn together during this term. So again, welcome to the class and let's get studying.